The question now is, who really censored this Modi interview? The BJP is pointing fingers at the centre. But the government has already said it is not to blame. Doordarshan has also denied being under pressure to edit out the portions. We are, however, learning from our sources that Doordarshan sat on the interview for a considerable period of time. Some sources indicating that it was three days after the interview was shot. An allegation that the BJP has already made. As a huge storm rages over Narendra Modi's censored interview on Doordarshan, let's look at official position so far taken. Let's look at Manish Tiwari, the information broadcasting minister, who issued a statement saying, my ministry is at an arm's length relationship with Prasad Bharti, which is an autonomous broadcaster by an act of parliament. That's the official position of the information broadcasting minister. Let's now look at Prasar Bharti's response. This is the official statement by Doordarshan where they've said that there was no deliberate editing or omission of any portion of the interview. Wherever editing was done, it was for technical reasons and primarily during post-production because of the time issue involved. Let's now look at the charge that the BJP is making here against uh, the government. In fact, the BJP's official statement reads that somewhere pressure has been exerted and the interview has been censored and cut. Shaina Ansi of the BJP joins me now from Mumbai. Shaina Ansi, why will not the BJP believe what the Doordarshan, the public broadcaster Doordarshan is saying? Saying that this was due to technical details and at the end of the day, they had the editing rights to take as much as they want of the interview. Why are you making it out to be a political machination by the Congress party or the government? Maruk, you know better than me that when you have the information and broadcasting minister and the Prasad Bharti that have chosen to edit areas conveniently where Mr. Modi says he has a friendship with Ahmed Patel, cut and chop, where he makes a reference which is a genuine uh, 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 magnanimous reference to Priyanka Gandhi, cut and chop. Now, clearly, there are questions that come to our mind also. No, no, but the INB minister is very debate, categorically uh, saying... Interview, why have it in the first place? No, no, but the INB minister is very categorically saying that as far as Prasar Bharti is concerned, DD is concerned, it's an autonomous body and the government stays at an arm's length. Why wouldn't you believe him? How would it help Narendra Modi in any way if those parts were aired? After all, the 30-minute chunk was aired. 37 minutes to that uh, extent. Maruk... We have always showed, isn't it ironical that you have 37 minutes which is aired and only 90 seconds which has reference to anything that the nation would want to know about edited. I mean 90 seconds out of 37 minutes, I can understand if you say that you know it was a package of 22 minutes. No, no, it was a 57 minute minutes. interview but editing only and about 30, seconds. 30 odd minutes were taken as the, the interview and the rest 20 minutes were chopped off and these, uh, these portions and also chopped off. only this 90 seconds. Well, anyway, the, you can have any defense. I only want to say that the, you know, there's been a segment of society that has wanted to paint Modi ji as this hard-hearted, uh, you know, absolutely a person who has no compassion. And that is what we object to because there is a real side to him. There is a side that needs to be projected to the public at large. It's not about just uh, getting brownie points or suggesting that, you know, we have an opinion on Priyanka Gandhi, which is this, or we have an opinion on the Congress, which is this. Let the public know the entire, uh, 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 ed the entire scripture of the interview and let them decide. And why is this cut-paste job done only with the Doordarshan? Isn't it a misuse of power? Okay, but uh, Ahmed Patel is saying that yes, he must have had, uh, he once had lunch and I'm going to quote him here. He says that uh, 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 during election time, people say all sorts of things. I had lunch with him once in 1980. But as far as Narendra Modi is concerned, he's saying Ahmed Bhai is among the best friends I have in the Congress party, but not anymore. He doesn't even take my calls. Ahmed Patel is saying, yes, I had lunch with him. So where's the controversy? Well, to each his own, I think that this is petty trivia and I just feel that if you do take an interview of a leader of the statue of Narendra Modi, then please give him the benefit that he expresses himself in totality because we've seen a lot of cut-paste edit which has caused a lot of problems in the past. 
Having said that, I don't think this is that large an issue that uh, we need to debate on it further. Okay. All right, China. And see, just for the record, we also had Mr. Deepak Amin from uh, the Congress party who was invited for this debate. So it wasn't just uh, about one side of the debate, but unfortunately, he hasn't been able to make to our studios in time. But China and see from uh, the BJP, thanks so much for joining us here on the show.